What is up you guys? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very simple. I'm just going to show you the best way, the most precise and objective way to convert your log footage into a specific color space within DaVinci Resolve and that's using color management. So if you're not familiar with log footage, what it is is a gamma curve where your camera is capturing video in a very low contrast and low saturation method in order to maximize the dynamic range that it's capturing. So it's bringing up the shadow so you have more detail in the dark parts of the image. It's bringing down the highlights so you don't have any clipping in the whites. And then it's reducing the saturation so you can capture the widest dynamic range, the widest amount of colors as possible. Log footage always requires post edition in order for it to work or to look normal. So log footage straight out from camera looks horrible, but if you correct it correctly, if you convert it into a specific color space, you have a very nice image with high dynamic range. Now, I'm not gonna dive into detail into color spaces because, well, that's a whole topic for another video, but in essence, a color space is a configuration or a calibration of colors depending on where your media is going to be shown. So for example, most broadcasting media like television, streaming softwares or the internet use a color space named Rec 709. Now this color space has a limited amount of colors, a limited amount of dynamic range, but it's going to differ from other color spaces. For example, for cinema, they use different color spaces or for different projects, maybe they use sRGB or P3 TCI. It all depends on the client and their needs. Now, why are these two concepts so important? Log and color space. Now, log footage is going to be your starting point. And then you want to transform that log footage into a specific color space depending on the devices where your video is going to be reproduced. So let's say you want to export your video for YouTube, then I highly recommend you to use the sRGB color space, which is the one that YouTube optimizes their videos for. If you want to play your video in your TV, in your bedroom, then you want to export to Rec. 709. The color space will determine the color grading that your video is going to have optimized for a specific device. So it's very important to keep in mind where your video is going to be outputted for. Okay, so enough of the theory, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. And before I show you how to use color management, which is the best way, I'm going to show you the other two ways which are a bit imprecise. The first one that we all come to know is using the color wheels or the tools that we have at our disposal in the editing program to balance our image out. So here I have my image, which is in S-Log3. And over here, we can use the primary color wheels. We can use the log color wheels as well to adjust the contrast and saturation. We can use the HDR color wheels, and we can also use the tone curve. So we have a lot of options here in DaVinci Resolve to edit our clip and convert it into a specific color space. Now, when we're using the color wheels or any other tool, we have to keep in mind that we can use the scopes as a reference to make sure our image is correctly exposed. We can use the waveform, we can use the parade, or we can use the histogram depending on what you prefer. So let us correct this clip real quick. So I'm just gonna add some contrast with the tone curve over here. Then in the HDR, just gonna reduce the shadows to achieve a bit more contrast, and then just gonna return a bit of the saturation. And there we have it, our clip is looking a lot better from the log footage. But this method is quite imprecise and it has some flaws. First of all, it requires a lot of practice to master the tools and know which sliders to move in order to convert log footage into a specific color space. And secondly, it's not a very precise or objective way to color grade your log footage because it's based on what I think looks correct. This image may look perfect to me, but for another person, it may look a bit too dim or a bit too desaturated. It's not a very precise way to color grade your log footage. The second method is a very fast way to edit, a very convenient way which is using conversion or utility LUTs. Now, utility LUTs are different to creative LUTs. These ones are just designated to transform your log or raw footage into a specific color space or to look normal. Now, camera manufacturers like Sony and Canon, they shout their conversion LUTs in their official websites. You can check them out. So the way to apply it is very simple. So here I have my node. I'm just gonna go to my LUTs. And over here I have my utility conversion LUTs for Sony. And I'm just gonna select the one that my video is shot in, which is S-Log3 in s 3cine I'm just gonna select it and just like that, our clip is corrected. So using LUTs is a really quick way to edit and you can also add micro adjustment to some tones within the LUT so you don't have to do the same steps over and over again in your edit. So for example, in my LUTs, I corrected the skin tones from Sony to make them a bit more appealing, a bit more natural, not too green. But there is a downside to using LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. So let's say that you have this clip over here and you have not one, but you have maybe eight nodes over here. Do so you put your utility LUT at the start do you put it at the end or do you put it in the middle? Where you put it is gonna affect your color grading. So you have to keep that in mind. So if you're just starting out, I would suggest to avoid using LUTs and better concentrate in the third method, which is the main 
subject of this tutorial, which is color management. So what is color management? In essence, color management is just a tool within DaVinci Resolve that allows you to transform automatically your log or raw footage into a specific color space or output settings. So let's jump into it and I'm going to show you how it works. So here in my timeline, I have three clips shot with different cameras. I have this one shot in Neslog 3, this one shot in Decenter like and this one shot in Blackmagic RAW. So normally we would have to go into every single one of these clips and grade them separately because they're shot with different cameras. Now color management rids us of all that need. We can do it automatically. So let's go into our project settings over here. I'm gonna go into color management and over here we can see that our color science is DaVinci Resolve YRGB. In essence, when we have this type of uh, color science is telling us that this project isn't color managed by DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to select it and I go into DaVinci Resolve color managed. Now, as you can see, automatic color management is marked over here. And these are the settings that I'm going to recommend if you just want to convert all your log footage in your project into a specific color space. Now, your specific color space is going to be your port color space. In this case, is in Rec. 79. I'm just going to leave it like that. And I want you to look at the image at the back from this Jeep, which is shot in raw footage in black magic so watch what happens when i select save automatically our video is transformed into the specific color space which is rec 09 and we have that saturation back we have the contrast back and this image is looking very nice ready to be edited now color management isn't working with notes so you're not going to have any problem when you're editing and you're stacking and deciding where to put your uh, conversion so this clip is looking beautiful with the natural contrast and the saturation that of the time when it was shot but as you can see it didn't happen with my other clips this one is still in log footage why because davinci resolve didn't recognize any metadata within this clip so what i have to do is set it manually so i'm going to right click in the clip input color space and then i'm going to tell davinci resolve in which color space this video is shot in so it's in this log 3 it's gamma 3 dot cine i'm going to click it and then automatically and now it is transformed into rec 709 which is our color space that we decided over here so you're going to go into your media tab and as you can see all these clips from my sony camera well they're still in log footage over here so what i'm going to do is select them all you can just basically search the type of file or anything like that and in this case i'm just going to select them right click and then input color space and here i'm just going to designate it once again and as you can see, they all have been converted into Rec. 709. So with these basic settings that we have over here, color management will automatically grade or convert all your log footage in your entire timeline for you in one simple step. And then you can go ahead and continue on your edit. So this is a great starting point. Now let's jump into a bit of the custom settings within color management, a bit more advanced. So I'm gonna unmark the automatic color management over here. I'm gonna go all the way down to custom. And here we have a lot more tools that we can just change and play around with. So in input color space, you're basically telling DaVinci Resolve what type of color space your files are from. So here, for example, if my entire project was shot with a Sony camera with S-Log3, S-Gamma3.Cine, I could select it over here manually and it will automatically grade all the clips from my timeline in the same manner. But if you have clips from other cameras, I wouldn't recommend this setting because if you hit save, as you can see over here, this clip is graded correctly. This one, it looks just fine as well. But then if we jump into the drone footage over here, it's graded as it was shot with S-Log3. And Decent Like is quite different from S-Log3. It has a lower dynamic range. So that's why it's looking quite horrible. So I wouldn't suggest to apply the setting or the same settings in input color space if you have clips from different cameras in your project. Then timeline color space is in essence the type of color space that you're working with. Now, many of the tools within DaVinci Resolve perform a bit differently and adjust differently or calibrate differently depending on the color space that you're working with. So for example, the tools may be different or move a bit different in SRGB than it would be in P3 DCI. So keep that in mind depending on your final results. Now the output color space is basically your export settings, the calibration of your color that you can have at the end. So basically at the top in input, you're telling what type of log footage that you have. And then in the output, you're telling what type of grading you want it to apply, how you want it to convert it. So let's say that we have over here our log footage and I want it to be converted for YouTube. So I'm gonna select sRGB and pay attention how the grading changes. So every single clip on my entire project is gonna be change to match the sRGB color space. So in essence, it's converting every single log clip in my timeline 
into sRGB, which is just fantastic. So color management is the best tool to convert your log footage into normal colors to make it look beautiful into a specific color space. Why? Because the computer, the algorithm is doing it for you scientifically. It's not depending on your subjective views, it's not depending on your experience. The computer is doing it for you, so it's a great tool to have. And it's also a great way to future-proof your project to be exported to different types of broadcasting systems. So let's say that you export this video in sRGB to be uploaded to YouTube. So everything's great, but then someone from the cinema wants you to play your video in the big screen, and they demand a specific color space, which is an sRGB. In years back, you would have to go clip by clip, regrading and rematching every single one of your clips to match that specific color space. Now with color management, all you have to do is just change the output setting. So over here we have sRGB. Let's say they're demanding maybe the P3 DCI. I'm gonna select it, hit okay. And every single one of the clips in my entire project is gonna be recalibrated to match that specific color space. And this, you can do it with every single color space that you have. Maybe another client demands a specific color space. You just change the output setting. And once again, your project is ready to be exported for those guys as well. So color management really is a mind blowing tool that DaVinci Resolve has to convert your log footage or raw footage into a specific color space with a single click in a very fast, efficient and objective manner.